If you're new to minimalism, how do you know what to keep and what to get rid of? How do you know what is actually essential? I've spent a few years on this minimalist journey trying to get down to only the essentials. I've made some mistakes, but I've learned quite a few things, and here's how I did it. With minimalism, I hear people say two things. Either they say, own nothing, or they say, keep whatever makes you happy. Neither of these really make sense though, because they're not very practical for life. If you follow the advice of don't own anything, it's going to be very unpractical. And also, a lot of these people regret getting rid of things later in life. If you follow the advice, own whatever makes you happy, then you're most likely not going to stay minimalist for very long. Balance is not real. It's a made-up concept. You don't need balance. You need practical thinking. If you're new to minimalism, start by asking yourself, what will I actually use? And when trying to get rid of things, ask yourself, why do I not want to get rid of these things? What is it that's keeping me from getting rid of these things? Minimalism is about developing or growing as a person and learning to live with less. It's not about counting how many possessions you have. So don't rush into the process. If you're new to minimalism, take time decluttering, because this is how you learn the most about minimalism and about what is actually essential. Focus on the personal growth that comes with minimalism. Focus on asking yourself why you have emotional attachment to your stuff. Don't focus on just throwing everything away and start counting how many things you own. The easiest way to start minimalism is by not buying. Try this for a year and see how it goes. Stop buying instead of decluttering. That is really the first step. Always, do it for a year, see how it goes. You don't need to declutter, you just need to stop buying. And compared to most people, at the end of that year, you'll pretty much be a minimalist. By focusing on not buying or adding more stuff to your possessions instead of decluttering, it'll be much easier to make the right choices. Minimalism is a discipline, which means it's not always fun, but it's always useful. Living in a capitalist world full of clutter is not always easy as a minimalist, but it just makes it so much more important. Transitioning to a minimalist lifestyle should be a healthy challenge. You are literally changing years worth of conditioning, probably a whole lifetime. If you're struggling with minimalism, remember the why. This is one of the best tips for if you're trying to make lifestyle changes. Remember the why, why you started in the first place, and this will help keep you motivated to make the right choices. A minimalist lifestyle is about becoming a better person. It's about lowering your footprint. It's about having a cleaner home and having less anxiety and having less clutter. It's also about enjoying the moments in your life rather than the stuff in it. Focusing on these things makes it easier to realize that you don't need all this stuff. Getting into or transitioning into a minimalist lifestyle can be difficult in the beginning. But my best advice to you is let minimalism take time. Changing your whole lifestyle shouldn't happen overnight. If you do this, it's very easy to make a lot of mistakes. Let minimalism be about changing your lifestyle instead of throwing away everything you own. That is the least important part about minimalism, whereas the most important part of minimalism is not acquiring more stuff and living a clutter-free life. So yes, of course, at some point you're gonna have to purge or declutter and get rid of stuff, but that should take time. This ensures that you won't regret the things you get rid of or that you have to buy new things down the line. And it also makes it a lot easier to differentiate between what's essential in your life and what's non-essential. A minimalist lifestyle can be so beneficial and so much fun. For me, living a minimalist lifestyle have contributed to me becoming a better person, developing myself and learning more about myself. I love minimalism. I hope you're inspired to live a more minimalist lifestyle too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Also, comment down below about your favorite tips for minimalism. Thank you. Bye.